if offered, would you sell a picture of your dick? No. <laughs> hell no. I'm not going to warm myself <laughs> out for that. Fuck that. Would you sell a picture of your dick for $200? No. Hell no. <laughs> it's worth more than that. That's an insult. What do you mean? <laughs> What's up, guys? It's the Viral Watch Podcast, the most controversial podcast on the internet. I'm interviewing CJ Quintanilla, aka Warzone, aka Renegade. And uh, today we're going to talk about something that has been on both of our minds is like, who is the best rapper here in Victoria? But first, uh, kind of give the, the viewers a little bit about you. Uh, my name is Renegade. Obviously, I'm from Puerto Vallarta, Texas, but I do represent both Puerto Vallarta and Victoria as a whole because I live both in area, both of the areas at the same time. Not at the same time, but like I live both Puerto Vallarta and Victoria, so I can just say I, I, I pretty much live both there, pretty much. Okay, and uh, what do you have going on right now? Uh, basically, rap. Uh, I do a lot of reactions. I do gaming. Um, I do editing for a, a local group called The Essence in Victoria. I do most of their editing when it comes to like gaming and vlogs and stuff. Uh, I'm trying to do my own clothing line. I'm writing a book. I'm doing a bunch of other stuff right now, honestly. Um, but mostly it's, it's just rap and hip hop, mostly. Do you work with any uh, local uh, artists? I do, actually. I work with a, a guy named Phoenix the Fallen Angel. He's from Victoria, obviously. Uh, I work with... Um, that's kind of the, like, the only one close I work with. Uh, only because like we connect well together i mean i don't mind working with other people but me and him actually have a really good chemistry when it comes to like music and editing and stuff and also when it comes to like other types of creative content for youtube so um like i can work with anybody but phoenix honestly is the only one i can work with um when it comes to like all creative content I got a question. Do the rappers in Victoria support each other? Because I just from my personal opinion, I've I've been in I haven't been in the scene, but I've I've I run Viral Watch, which was the most controversial Facebook page out there with over a billion views on Facebook. Yeah, I saw that we've posted all the rappers that I can think of in Victoria on the page, got them thousands and thousands of views. But it doesn't seem like they really like support each other. Like, I feel like it's like more of a competition. And that's where I kind of like, I get the idea of a competition because that's what everything is nowadays. It's a competition. It, either it's friendly or it's not friendly. Um, the rappers, they somewhat do support each other, I think, in their inner circles. If you're not in that inner circle, you're not going to gain support from any of them. I think that's the way I see it. That's kind of why hardly anyone ever supports me. Like Only my closest friends or my friends or my even my, my family support me. But like I'm not like if I share something on Facebook, I'm not gonna get a like from like any of like the most known artists from Victoria. That's kind of why I feel like they do support each other, but only in their inner circles. If, I, if I'm not part of that, then I, and I'm not gonna get there any of their support or anything. That's the way I see it. Um, with that being said, no support. Like it's really hard to come up. Like you need support to come up. Oh, of course, I, I definitely you, you, agree with that. Yeah, you need a lot of support. So a big rapper that I that's the most hated rapper out there, which you probably already know who I'm talking about. Not in Victoria, just the most hated rapper known today. Six nine, yeah, of course. <laughs> Nobody supports him, but I think he's on to something because my personal opinion is you can make very good music if nobody knows you. Nobody's gonna buy your stuff. Yes. With that being said, I feel like, and like I said, this is just my opinion. Yeah. It's not. It's not more about how good of a rap you rapper you are. It's. It's about how good you can piss people off. It's um. Uh, that's that's kind of what the saying goes. It's controversy creates cash. That's kind of why I I see that when it comes to six nine. I don't think he's um. His music is. I won't say garbage. It's kind of not in my style of taste and music I listen to. But I get where he's coming from. Like he's getting other people's skin. He's trolling people. Like that whole thing he had with uh, Little Dirk and um, like um, other artists. He's pissed off over the years. Um, and the whole stitching thing he did got uh, uh, under people's skin. And of course, he still talked about. It. We're still talking to him right now. If if we talk about him, he's winning. That's kind of how the way I see it. He's winning. Yeah, hundred percent. Of course, yeah. Is there any rapper in Victoria that you're under their skin? 
Uh, honestly, no, because no. I'm I'm not really the type to like piss people. If I really want to piss somebody off, I'll do it. Um, but I don't really go around fucking pissing people off and uh getting other people's skin. I mean, I'd like to so I can get like to see how it goes, but I'm not really the type to like to poke the bear. You know what I'm saying? I don't really I don't really just start shit out of the blue. I like at least I want to, but I don't think it's worth it at this point, honestly. Well, I mean, in a point you did because like before you used to do rap battles. Yeah. And to course, and man. to me, like that's pretty controversial. Like you oh, yeah. like when you when you're like if you've ever watched a rap battle, like these you're like talking shit. Like I'm I'm sure you probably wanted to hit the dude right in front of you several times. Um in my whole career, I don't think there was there's only two people in my whole career in battle rap that I wanted to knock in the mouth, but only because it's um because two of them were personal grudges against I had the dude, but other than that, all my battles, I never wanted to hit nobody. I want to start no drama. I just want to come, battle rap, have fun, and then just do my thing. Who, but there's there was only two people in my whole career in battle rap. I just wanted to punch in the mouth only because I wanted to. Who were they? Uh Little Run and uh his name is TK. It's kind of a they're they're kind of like little battles, but they had a really like really ugly backstory if you if I really want to go out there and say it. We I do kind of want to get into that backstory, but first, can we watch can we show the viewers uh, a clip? Uh, yeah, that, go a, a, yeah. cl- a clip of the battle. And I'm going to I'm not going to show you in. We'll shout out the video. They can go watch it out on YouTube. Like we'll, we'll they'll see the video here in a second. Then go watch the full clip on YouTube. Yeah. They can even they can even watch the video. Come back, leave a comment, say like who they think won, because there's a big controversy and there was actually never a winner decided. Right. Well, the 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 winner of the battle was me. I was it was like six to one in the judges. It was six okay. to one. Um, but a lot of people were saying that it was very close. It was very uh, debatable. But in my in my opinion, it wasn't that debatable. In my opinion, let's let's watch his his uh. Know that I'm a motherfucking beast and all my bars hit hard like some fucking double G's. Come on, man. Let's be real. Don't make me pop your ass like I just popped a pill. You want that beef shit? I smoke your ass like meat on a grill. And I ain't here to throw jabs and taps. I'm here for the kill. And your bitch always on my pickle, man. What be your deal? Hold up. We got a battle. Now it's back to that old me shit. Now it's back to the G shit. The click, clack, pound. Now you're bleating. Your bitch sent my cruise ship and swallow all my semen. I ain't devil in disguise, but something like a demon. The type to run up on your grandma, catch her while she's sleeping. The run up in the funeral while everybody grieving. And walk up to the casket. And peek in and grab all her jewelry and then my ass leaving. I know I had a spit dope since she ass fiending. Mm-hmm. All right, all right. Now it's round one and let's fight. If anyone hops in, they'll catch that one too. Now you dizzy right. I'm the future like a rapper sipping dirty Sprite. Hold up, I got a couple more things to say. So you said you fuck mighty. Right? So Who's mighty? Hold on, hold on. Let me exit the screen share real quick. Okay. Okay. Who is mighty? Is that his chick? Like, um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, there's like a whole story behind that. Actually, who is mighty? Like, I watched that rap battle and like I was there in person, but like after watching it again, like you, you kind of told me about it. Um. Well, okay. Um. And battle rap. You tend to like exaggerate things, honestly. I never even met the chick, honestly. How that happened was uh, one of his friends, I'm not going to say his name because I am not. I really will. I kind of will later. But um, I was, this has happened when I was in college, right? I was writing my rounds for him. And um, he, he walks up and goes, Hey, you want to know something about, about the dude you're battling? I said, hey, You're his friend. But I'm like, Fuck it. What do you got to say? And that's when he said, Mention her. And I guarantee you right now, you're going to get him pissed off. I'm like, Oh, I definitely got to do it now because I tend to do that with it in grudge yeah. matches. Yeah. In, gr- in grudge matches, I will find shit to hurt you because that's my intent. If I'm battling you and, and I don't like you, I'm going to hurt you regardless. I'll, I'll find some out of uh, some way to get under your skin or make, uh, piss you off. If I already piss you off in the battle, I already won. I don't care. I, if, al- I got, I, if I get you heated, that's it. It's over. Yeah. It, it's almost like fighting. Like the most, like most fights are won in the mental, like before the fight even starts. Yeah, of course. And what's funny was after he told me that, I'm like, well, I got to do I, what can I do to make it even worse? So I made that whole scheme about sleeping with her, calling a one night stand or a counter attack. I'm like, that's like a triple entendre fucking line right there. And I'm like, you know what? That's really going to get the crowd's attention and his attention as well. Is that his girl? 
I think at the time that was his ex. I'm not certain. I, I forgot the whole story between him and her, but I just think that was his ex. I think. I can't what's, remember exactly. What's the backstory? Of uh, what? Of him and her? Of him and you? Oh, him and me. Um, at first he um he was um the I'll quote an upcoming rapper in the of city of Victoria, and he started sending out diss tracks to everybody out there, and then he did it to me. And at, at first, people were like, like, oh, he he heard him. He murked him. I'm like, he did not do shit to me. And I, I sent a respond back. And then they just kept responding with diss track after diss track. I'm like, you know what? I'm just like, I'm getting tired of this. I either want to hit him in the mouth or just do something. And that's when Phoenix had the event. Uh, what is it? Exodus. And I'm like, you know what? I'll, I'll bring it to the battle ring. Let's bring it. Let's just let's do a rap battle. And then sure enough, um, they booked it. And then um, it was supposed to be, it was a one round, I think one round, a limit or one round, five minutes. And they really want me to do three round, three rounds. But I'm like, you know what? It's his first time, his first battle. I just want to just get over with, get, get that one shot and that's it. And then after that, the after we booked it, it was the day of the, the event. I was like, I think I was somewhere else during the day, meditating, preparing for the battle. And sure enough, um, before the battle, I got these uh, red color contacts and put them on before the battle. So if you see me in the beginning of the battle, I had my glasses on and then I took them off that whole event. I had glasses on the entire time. I didn't take them off for shit. I was at that event. Yeah. You, you don't remember. I think we, if we, well, if we go to like, if you, if you go watch the video and you go to like, right when he's done rapping, you'll see me like middle, middle of the screen. I'm going to be honest. Like if I'm, in a, if I'm in a battle and I'm battling someone I don't like, I'm just all focused on just hurting them. Cause I don't really care about who's, out yeah, there. I just it's just me versus him. So I, mean, I probably would have paid attention to mouth with you. Said so. Did y'all become friends after that, or are y'all still? Oh no, no, we're not no? friends. At all. Y'all hate each other. Um, I mean, I don't like the guy. I mean, after that, I think um, it's a lot of personal shit that he's going through right now. But I think at this point, we're not even friends. I mean, he may send me a, tra- a couple of tracks on Facebook. I'm like, oh, whatever, dog. I ain't listen to your shit. Fuck that. Like, at a personal level, we're not cool. Not the slightest. We're not like buddies. We're not. We don't hang out at the same place or we don't go to the same fucking subway every morning. Like, you know, we're not like that. We're not cool like that. Okay. So, I mean, dude, you got to get back into battle rapping. That shit was epic. Like, I, I think, mean, I think, I think battle, I miss battle rap in a way, but it's just nowadays it just got like either oversaturated or people just like, I just, I, I don't know if I want to come back unless the name is like really good. Like if it's someone like a no name or like, Someone who wants to get a batter up, don't hit me up for that. But if it's like someone who's up or like a, a big name or a fucking legend, then I'll come right back instantly. Okay. Uh, who, who's the best rapper in Victoria? Me. Nah. Um, <laughs> besides you. Besides you. Besides you. Uh, besides uh, you who, who, let me re- say, rephrase that. Yeah. Besi- <laughs> besides you, who's the, um, best, who's the best rapper? That is a, a really good question only because like, there's so many outlets in rap that there's no like determination on who's the best rapper. Like you can be the best gangster rapper, the best nerd rapper, best, just like, best you know, rapper, it, uh, gangster, like, all, all kinds. Just someone that you you can like say say like uh, to you, this is the best rapper because it's your opinion. Yeah, of course. Um, to be real, dog, um, I get I really can't think off head like who's like the quote unquote best rapper only because like. I don't pay attention to anyone else around here. I don't pay attention on who's the best because I know I'm the best. So, I mean, I don't pay attention to who's out, who's better than me. You know, yep. if I could, if I could think of one person who could probably like, who is better than me, like who I think could out bar or out rap me in a song is, uh, is a uh, Phoenix, honestly. Okay. Because like, um, w- the way I do rap is the true way of lyricism, punchlines, you know, bars just to get you m- your mind thinking when it comes to music. That's yeah. my my um, that's my ability to do is everyone can either rap gangster freestyle fucking rap nerd bars you know what I'm saying like um, that's my thing so I mean if you can't out rap me we got nothing to talk about if you can't out punch me we got nothing to talk about so I mean that's just how the way I see it who who would you say the worst rapper is. okay i got i got i got plenty of people of mine for that shit i got name 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 three three um like when it comes to like they can't 
on beat or they can't write or like how like worse how like your what's your what, worse they're 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 sharing their links to everybody because nobody's listening to them uh, you know what i mean like we're tagging like 900 people in the post which i hate that personally like rappers, oh yeah definitely rappers that I are tagging they'll tag me and like 900 people in a, in a video but that's not necessarily going to get me to watch it like if you create really. something if you create something that's worth watching like the words are going to get like it takes one person to like say oh fuck like let me share this and then the next person shares it like that's kind of why there was a people there is pe- there are people in the past that they actually did that and i'm like uh i either take myself off of the post or just ignore it because if you're gonna I- tag me to post it has to be like you're either talking about me or you're bringing up something that will revert to me you know what i'm saying yeah, so I had to delete Don Cano. Really? On Facebook because no shit. She was she was tagging me and everything. When with that being said, what happened to the plug radio? I have no idea to be honest with you. The last time What I, happened to the plug radio? I don't know, bro. Like I I'll, I'll be real. The last time I was like interacting with Don Cano was when I, I did an interview plugging my uh my discontinued project i was calling it uh what was what i call it um it was called a uh, lab and i was trying to promote that but after that i really hadn't no, i hadn't heard no word of from don or anyone else from the plug I, I it's like they dropped from the face of the earth i have no idea what happened to them i heard like a like i didn't hear like a specific thing but i heard that there was like a lot of drama within the organization that tends to happen a lot when it comes to yeah. like, radios and all that because if there's gonna be like, drama, pe- that's people weren't pe- people weren't getting paid. Oh yeah, that's definitely gonna be the deal breaker right there. If no one's yeah. getting paid, no one's gonna work. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the deal breaker right there. Pe- people, I mean, that money money speaks for everything. If you're not getting paid, like that's that. Oh causes- yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, um, but I feel like they had something going. They felt- did, and I honestly think they could have been really popular if they would have kept going. The, like, the, pl- the plug radio, like the name sounds dope. Like they, yeah, they, had, and- they weren't like. I feel like they were involving a lot of people. That wasn't just like a more of like a selfish thing. Oh yes. They, uh, they had a lot of people on there. They had a great segments like kicking with cash was one of their segments they had. That was really dope too. And like, they had like, what was it? Uh, smasher. I don't know. Was it a uh, bump it or dump it? Hey, that was a good, good one too. Bump it or dump it. They had the SPM shows come up, which actually check this out. You're not going to believe this. I went to the SPM show with my smartphone, with a vision in mind. I didn't go there just because, because I was going to like, I really didn't care about meeting who was there. I, I went there because I was running viral watch. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to record. I'm just going to record there. See what, all I can get. Hmm. I, I recorded it off my smartphone, like a couple clips of like uh, SPM's wife um, singing, uh, the daughter singing. Uh, yeah. She's who's amazing. That, who's she's that amazing. big dude? Who's that big bald dude? Uh, uh, there's wait, not Juan Gotti. Uh, Juan Gotti. It was Juan Gotti. Are you sure? Yes. Just, yes. It was Juan Gotti. So check this out. I got like them and like their own short clips. I take that one video of SPM's wife uh, rapping, put it on my viral watch Facebook page. I think I had like t- maybe 20,000 followers at the time. Hmm. Didn't put any money behind it. All I did was like caption it really well, put some like words on it, put SPM's wife singing or rapping, blah, blah, blah. The post went viral. A million views. Yeah. A million views, bro. From a little like a video on your smartphone. So with that being said, it's to go viral. In my opinion, it's all about like titles and like just like SPM has a lot of fucking controversy around his. Oh name. yes, yes he does. Um, believe it or not, he's one of my favorite artists in uh, in Texas. Is he really? No, he's good. I I, I love his songs. Uh, How high or something like that. That's probably my favorite song. My, my favorite my favorite one is uh, either Filthy Rich or um, the one that got me into his music, uh, Dope Game. Dope game. No, that's a good one. They actually sang that live too over there at the. No shit. Yeah. So, uh, let's go back. Yeah. Who worst three rappers? <laughs> worst, worst, worst three. Worst, worst three in Victoria. Oh shit! And the fucked up part is they're not even known. Um, dang, you about to give them some clout right here. <laughs> shit, now you bringing them up is giving them a clout. Um. Ah shit! I, I forgot his name, bro. He was ass, bro. He battled at one of our uh, one of our events. I forgot his fucking name. Um, he was battling some white boy dude, and he was trash, bro. He was stumbling. He couldn't get like one word out. He was like saying like sentences. Like, he wouldn't rhyme anything. He was just saying shit. I forgot his fucking name, bro. It was years ago. It was at one of our uh, events. Uh, what the fuck was his name? 
Uh, I don't think he raps. Um, JJ Squash. There you go. That that's his fucking name. I've never heard uh, of him. Yeah, exactly. Um, I think that he was talking shit to someone of our uh, one of our friends, and they agreed to battle. Dude, he was fucking ass, bro. Trash. Um, another one. Uh, one of the battles I mentioned, TK. That's another one. One of the worst rappers I've ever heard. Um. I don't think you ever watched that one. We actually battled for uh, a local team called Green Room Battles. And we had a one-off, but only because, like, he pissed me off so fucking much, I wanted to battle him. He really pissed me off. I'm like, you know what? Don't piss me off or you're going to die in the ring. Simple. Like, if he dies, he dies type shit, you know? Kill him. Um, and um, dude was straight Garbino. I did not think he was going to be the way he was. I hated him for that. Wasted my fucking best rounds in history against him. Who's who's the third? Third? Um, I don't know what he goes by now. I I I forgot his um little unique or something like that. I forgot his name. Like he would post shit and no one would respond to it. No one would like it. I think he get Damn. like one or two views at a time. And I get that. I get that having like one view or one like at a time. I get that. I just don't think that should discourage you from going any further. If you get maybe a one a one like, like, hey, I, I got a like, cool. I just keep pushing my shit out until someone listens, you know, or make something that someone will hear. No, yeah. Uh, like I said earlier, it's not about what you say. And I mean, it, your, your rap's got to be good. You can't just get a lot of attention and have a. Yeah. You don't, you don't want to be known for like a shitty rapper. Oh, yeah, of course. So you obviously got to rap good, but it's more about like, building your personal brand along with like your music at the same time and that's hard you like because you got to focus on your music you got to be good and then you also got to market yourself and, and like and stay relevant too like yeah a lot of people are really good at marketing and not good at rap and then a lot of people are good at rap and they're not good at marketing that's kind of why i respect somewhat to the paul brothers like logan paul and jake paul because like when they first did music and youtube they were ass like yeah but they got a big following yeah so everybody course. every everybody hears it yeah, and that's how they got millions of views. Why do you think fucking Jake Paul's fighting all these fucking fighters? Why do you think Logan Paul fought Mayweather? Like, that's the way I see yeah, it. Like, they're, they're not even in the, those games. Like, they get in those games because they're they got a big following. And and the funny thing about Jake Paul was once I think you I think you saw this when he snatched Mayweather's hat. Oh yeah, he had, he had a fucking tattoo that says "Got your hat." I'm got like, your hat. Are you kidding me? You get a fucking tattoo of that. I mean, posted it to YouTube, put posted it to TikTok. Like he was YouTube, everywhere. Facebook everywhere, bro. That's kind of why, in a way, I want to do dumb shit. But I'm like, you know, I want you to have do to do dumb shit. shit. Yeah. You have to do dumb shit. Like I learned that like by like by trying to play it the safe way and stuff like that, like people will like you, but like in order to grow big and massive, like you gotta have people hating you. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's kind of why I had the most hated title for years. I love that title, most hated. I love calling myself that. Every time I go to a battle and rap event, I've always loved calling myself that. Call yourself what? The most hated. The most hated? Because um, it was right after my battle against Lesson 3 at Prospects when one of like the OG battle rappers from that town, Bevo, he added me to their little roster of battlers, called, and he called me the most hated prospect. I'm like, Damn, Damn. That, that sticks. I'm like, you know what? I'm keeping that fucking. That title. sounds good. That sounds good. Like that sounds like you're dang, like a dangerous, a dangerous guy. Yeah. Uh, what's so? I was at one of these events, and yeah. there there was a guy there. I think it was called Michael White. Michael White. Oh my god, that's fucking dude. And to me, like, like everybody was hyping him up. They're like, holy fuck! Like Michael White showing up. Like I didn't know who it was. Like I was, I was expecting like. Everybody hyped him up. They're like, this dude's a yeah. fucking badass motherfucker. And then I heard him rap, and I was like, he's not even that good. But there's something that he does that's like 6'9". He knows how to get attention. He grabs your attention. That's he grabs insane. your attention because he does some like, dumbass shit. Like, would you, like ever, would you ever battle him? Believe it or not, he's one of the top three battlers I want to battle before I retire, believe it or not. He is one of if, like if, the he, if, he's, if he watches this video, do you have any words for him? Stop ducking me, dude. I need a battle you already so I can stop battle rapping. I need to battle you. So just to get this over with 30. I mean, this guy wasn't the first time he brought your name up in a battle. I want to get this battle over, over with 30. Him, YK, let's get this fucking battle over with 30, dog, on the real. 
Let's get it. Y'all heard it. If y'all ready, if y'all don't, if y'all want that smoke, he's ready to battle y'all. Uh, so yeah, no, back to Michael White, like he wasn't that good, but like what he had, it was like, dude acted like a lunatic. Yeah. He's fucking like, crazy. That dude's fucking if, crazy. If y'all have never, if y'all have never seen Michael White, go check him out on YouTube. That dude. I actually, has a, hung, I actually hung out with them, believe it or not. That dude's, a, yeah. That dude's fucking crazy. Like, is he always like, crazy or is that just how he acts like in the shows? Like, dude. Dude, he's fucking crazy on and off cam. Like, I am not exaggerating. That fucker's crazy. Like, um, uh, we met up to do a video shoot for one of his for one of the songs we collabed on. Um, first we went to his, we went hung out at uh, at his apartment, and then we went to the location. Um, dude, that fucker is crazy, man. He's all like doing dumb shit on cam. I'm like, how are you not embarrassed doing this? I'm standing there awkwardly, awkward as fucking like. Okay, dude, can I start rapping or not yet? <laughs> that fucker's crazy, dude. But he's the homie, man. I'm not gonna really talk, I'm not gonna discredit him like Yeah, that. no, he he's he's got something going, and I feel like if he if he really like he could grow massive. If, if I think he, I think with TikTok, he if he pulls his antics from here to TikTok, I think he really dude. If he grow. goes to TikTok, is he on TikTok yet? He is actually, he is. He's on TikTok. Yes. No I'm bullshit. going, I'm going to go search him up. Like if he is on TikTok, that dude can he could blow up massive. Yes. He's like, he's promoting his songs, his battles. I think his, I think his comedic shit too on there was, was on yeah. there as well. Cause that dude but, is crazy, crazy motherfucker. Like, yeah. I think honestly, if people really need to stop like just judging and just watch it and get entertained, that's the thing. Like they think he's crazy. Yeah. He's an entertainer. He's yeah. definitely an entertainer. Yeah. He's an entertainer. So speaking of entertainment, you have a, do you have a, any bars prepared for us today? I'll be real, man. Um, <laughs> Some, I mean, I have some things in the chamber, but not like because I'm writing. A, I'm actually putting all my shit together for a, a free album I'm putting on YouTube. Um, I say free because I'm putting it on YouTube, not anywhere else. You have, you have any uh, any bars prepared for a low run? Not run, honestly. <laughs> I mean, as much as I want to, but I think at this point in my career, it's not really worth it because sure. we're both doing our own separate things. Um, we're not really talking or not beefing, so. I mean, we're not cool either, but we're not really hating each other. So there's no really no need to bring, unless the demand from the fans really want it. Dude, you got to create the demand. And of course, if like someone pulls, a, if some random person on the street goes, "Hey, bro, you need a battle run again, bro. You need to battle him." I'm like, man, I guess. Like you know, like I just you got to you got to give him one more chance. Like when the when the greatest, they always give it like at least one. Like Conor McGregor and Dustin Puri. Like oh yeah, Dustin Prober. They're, they're he's given Dustin Prober one chance. He lost, and then now they're going the third round. I think, but this time it'll be different. I don't want one round. I want three rounds. Okay, like not a one rounder because it's obviously they can't decide one rounders. So um, I just do three rounds that way. If like say if oh he won the first round or he won the second, you know like you had him mad. That was that's a fact. Oh yes, definitely. I, he was... I if I piss him off, I already won. Ain't no one. Ain't no. Ain't no way he can say like he can tell his friends. Oh, I think I beat him, but like, why'd you get pissed off though? It's just a battle, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, just a battle. So, t- talk to us about your new album coming out. Um, pretty much the album is called Clinical Trials. Like, it's gonna be a collection of songs of different styles. Like, I took eight different beats from um from different types. Like, one's a Drake type, one's a Migos type, one's a uh, Denzel Curry type beat, one is a Scheme as a Slump guy. Like every possible uh alternate sound i can pull from youtube i could just rap on my own particular style i like, think of that beat but adding my style to the mix you know what i'm saying it's like doing a remix but not really because um i took a king crooked type beat i took a um uh, what else did i take uh a kodak black beat but using my own style under there okay no that sounds dope when does it come out i'm trying to aim for fall because they um reason why i say free is because um i don't own the beats they're going to be like downloaded beats from their website and I'm putting on my studio and I also giving credit, but it's just to show that I can, I can do these, I can do these beats without any trouble. Like most rappers nowadays, they follow a certain type of beat. Like they only rap to trap beats. They can only rap to boom bap beats. Like I, I can rap anything. I went from rapping on a boom bap to a trap beat to a fucking um, emo type beat or like a fucking um, uh, corpse husband, his beats. I rapped on one of those. There's no limit to what I can do. I can rap any on, on any beat and just make it my own. So uh, why do you why do you wear the oh these the black yeah um 
it's actually a, a really funny story. Um, I was talking with this, my friend of mine from California. Um, she was giving me ideas on how to perfect my look uh, okay. when it comes to wrapping and stuff. Uh, she took my picture of me in a hoodie and made this whole dark looking picture, like a mean, like in a bulletproof vest and a shell of my, like a, like an army type shit on my face. Um, but I'm looking, I'm like, dang, that kind of looks cool. The low, the little shit on the, on the eyes. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, where can I find that? Initially, I was going to use a uh, drawable eye black that you can okay. just draw on your face. Yep. I'm like, that shit gets way too messy when you take it off. And I'm like, where are the, this, 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 the stencils to just stop on? I went to the Academy and I found a whole pack, two packs of them. And I started wearing them ever since. Damn, and they kind of, they kind of like, it's like a, um, it's like a branding. It's, to me, it's like a branding type thing. A symbol of being a renegade. Like, yeah. just, uh, it's like, it's the way I see it. It's a competition. So we're shit for competitions. Yeah. We're, we're at um, war. And uh, I started wearing these. When I uh, performed for a Bone to Mac in Victoria, um, I'm my first time wearing these. And when the light hits my face, I don't see it right here, obviously, because it reflects off of it. And it, I was like, you know what? This actually fits well with me. And then I started wearing them ever since. No, that's dope. It looks good. Um, if you, as long as you keep going with that, like you'll build your personal brand and like people will always recognize you with that. I wanted to have like custom ones made of, of, of my symbol of my team's logo, but that'd be like a lot of work. No, that'd be a lot. Of, yeah. And that'd cost too much money. Yeah, of course. Uh, crazy. What's the craziest? Uh, okay. First thing I want to ask is uh, when did you first hear about viral watch? I'm not talking about now, but like in the past, like w- what was the first thing that like came up that you actually remember? Um. I think you shared uh, your page and you, you were, po- you were posting something on how to be viral and how to do stuff like that. I'm like, you know what? And plus I like, I love showing support too. So I'm like, you know what? Yep. I'm like, I'm gonna like the page. And I started watching your stuff. I'm like, Hey, he's actually putting some good, good points out there. And I started following the page ever since. Uh, but it wasn't until um, you shared uh, that video with Brandon was on like, Oh, he does podcasts. Okay. I yeah, no, I, I actually just started doing the podcast because Facebook actually shadow banned me. the The Facebook page, oh. the Facebook page, Viral Watch got deleted at uh, ninety thousand followers. That is bull. I hate that. We were reaching millions of people a month. Like it was like it was right before COVID happened too, and like all the like riots and shit like that. Like yeah. was, we could have had some great ass content. And that, I that actually, is boy, that is boy. I actually stopped for about a year. Like I didn't do the viral watch thing. I didn't know which way, like what direction to take it anymore. Since like Facebook basically just took like everything that I created and like just threw it away pretty much. Threw it away. But that's a lesson for anyone out there. Like any big pages growing, like you cannot rely on one thing. Like when yeah. you're growing a brand, you cannot rely on Facebook. You can't rely on just like one platform. You got to build on every platform. That's why uh, uh, when I promote stuff, I don't just promote on Facebook. I promote on yeah. Facebook, YouTube, fucking or YouTube, obviously, but Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, fucking TikTok, any way possible just to promote my stuff. Now, that's why I yep. want to rely on one thing. And uh, with that being said, World Star is actually dying too. Like you don't hear much about World Star because I noticed that actually they can't do it. Like they can't do their controversial stuff on any of these fight these sites that are like censoring everything that's going on. Like they got super strict on like. Anything you post is like super censorship. That's so, I, remember, I remember back in the like, they say world star and then yeah, wasn't on, on fights. Facebook. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're known for fights, but you don't see fights anymore. Like they've moved way away from that. Now it's like mostly just music nowadays. Like they posted on YouTube is mostly just music. If you think about it, which isn't really bad, but in a way that's not where they came from. Yeah, they came from like yeah, no. posting fights and controversial shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Yep, yep. Uh, speaking of controversial shit, uh, crazy story crazy story happened so i'm creating only fans oh shit and only fans and it's not directed like it's not my personal only fans so a lot of people think like hey mark's like mark's creating only fans like yeah just, just because i said i was creating only fans doesn't mean like it's for me so of it's course. gonna it's gonna be featuring austin texas girls so mm. it's gonna be a bunch of girls on there mm. bunch of ass bunch of titties bunch of everything hell yeah <laughs> And with that being said, like I've had a few, I don't know if we're allowed to say the the G word. Oh, the really? the G word. I had yeah. a few of those people hit me up on on Facebook and be like, "Hey, like you're starting OnlyFans." That 
Man, it's your God. Bro. That is that's horrible, my guy. Hold on, I'm zoomed out for some reason. My camera's got to refocus. With with that being said, if if offered, would you sell a picture of your dick? No, <laughs> hell no. I'm not gonna warm myself out for that. Fuck that. Would you sell a picture of your dick for two hundred dollars? No, hell no. <laughs> it's worth more than that. That's an insult. What do you mean? Would you sell a picture of your dick for two hundred dollars? God damn, nah, dog, no. In all seriousness, not nah, wouldn't do all that shit. <laughs> and that's that's kind of why I can't take OnlyFans seriously because, um, I know it's mostly meant for like. Uh, I think the way I see it, I think it was meant for like people with creative content to give to give the fans what they want, mm-hmm. so they can pay extra money to get that, but. Now these girls now posting stuff on OnlyFans, it went from there to being a girl's best friend to get money. You know what I'm saying? That's the way I see it. Dude, it's the way to get money. Like everyone, yeah, I, every almost every girl I meet here in Austin, Texas has an OnlyFans. Oh, yes. Like, it, it's ridiculous. And it's it's still fairly new. I think it started last year, right? Yeah. Like, it's no, I, that- think a, I think a lot longer than that, my guy, because I think um, there's a lot, of, I think maybe 20... 19 at best probably 2019 it's still, but I it's think. still fresh so yeah. now in my opinion now right now is the best time to create an only fans you don't yeah. want to be the guy that starts like like you don't want to be the guy that starts a tiktok like right when stick tiktok starts because like yeah. you never know where the platform's going oh yeah of course um but now we know that only fans is like people are making money people are making like millions of dollars like yeah like oh, uh, shit. I, if, if if you were if you, so so you where do you work right now i work at um an old, a mechanic shop if you I, lost your job today, no, your ra- your rapping career wasn't going nowhere, and and you needed to make money. W- would you start an OnlyFans? No, nah, probably not, bro. <laughs> I mean, I, I think honestly, the uh, the name that it's given, like, um, I just don't think I really would go that far. Honestly, I would at least figure out some way to find another job or something, bro. That's just not me, bro. Ah. Uh. But yeah, that's not me, bro. That's not that's not me. I don't even know what to say after that. Holy shit. All right. <laughs> All right. So uh, who's your favorite porn star? Oh, Rebecca Love. Easy. Rebecca Love. Hell yeah. Big old that does. <laughs> are, are you following her on following her on OnlyFans? Nah, on Twitter. <laughs> Twitter? Even better. You can post nudes on Twitter. Exactly. And I yeah. saw that too. <laughs> Girls posting dude, dude I swear to God, I was scroll, I was scrolling Twitter. I swear to God, like I, I haven't been on Twitter in years, and I was I, like, I got on Twitter and I'm just scrolling. Like, there's this dude fucking this girl like in the ass. God, and I'm like, what the fuck? fuck. <laughs> what in the f- like? How gonna, does this? I how does this? How does this I stuff? Know. I honestly don't know because like my I Facebook see- my Facebook page gets deleted over a meme that was no nude showing, no, nothing. Yeah. And then you got Twitter, where you can literally fuck a girl in the ass, and still get views off of that shit, and, and still keep your page. Yeah, honestly, I don't really follow Twitter as much because I think because it gotten so toxic over the years. I'm just like, you know what? I just don't want to deal with it. I think even uh, I think you may may not know him, but KSI, he's from England. I do know, yeah, I do know KSI. Yeah, he brought up a very good point on Twitter that is very toxic. The to- the fan base on Twitter is very toxic. You can't really? even, you can't post one thing without someone fucking getting butt hurt, without getting offended, and that's just, that's just how it is on Twitter. That's kind of why I don't follow it as much anymore. I mean, I still have it. I still have access to my Twitter account. I just don't use it as much. I mean, I'm not gonna say like, oh, fuck Twitter, blah blah blah. But I'm just like, yeah, I'm just having just to have it and maybe post a few links in there. But overall, like, I just think it's just too toxic because people get offended way too easy nowadays. You can't even post a simple yeah. joke without someone getting mad. Speaking of KSI, and I know you were talking about Jake Paul earlier. Who wins out of Jake Paul versus uh, Tyrone Woodley? Oh, shit. I don't know, bro, because um, I start – I don't know. Like, I've been watching a lot of Jake Paul I, – most of Jake Paul's fights only because I don't like, I don't get the pay-per-views. I just watch them, like, either do clips or, like, the highlights yep. and stuff. Um, I'm not going to deny Jake's ability to fight. He can actually, like, throw hands. But – 
if he goes at the rate he's going and the way he's training, I think Jake might get it, honestly. I'm not even saying that because, like, just to piss people off. I just legit think that Jake could actually have a chance. Do you, do you think Ben Askren threw the last fight? I think he did. I really think he did. There is, <laughs> there, no. is there is no way you can get knocked out that fucking quickly. After being a, like a, a world star UFC fighter. Yeah, ex- there is no possible way you can get knocked out that quickly. I don't care who you are. You can at least throw some kind of like fight back, at least to the second or third round. He looked like he never fought his, in, in his entire life. Exactly. In that ring. I'm like, oh my God, I hated that fight. And I'm glad, I am glad I did not buy that fight. I had new people that bought that fight and they were pissed. They were pissed when they bought that fight. They're like, I spent this much money to watch some dude and knock the fuck out in the first round. Like, you got to be kidding me. And I'm like, oh, well, I watched it. I, I watched it through highlights. So I'm good there. No, yeah, no, I follow. I've been following. Uh, actually, ever since Jake Paul started fighting, I've been following him a lot more. Dude's creating a lot of a, t- a lot of attention. Yes, he is. Uh, well, let, me, uh, let me ask you this, though. You think he might fight? You think after Logan fought Mayweather, you think Jake might have a ch- uh, shot at Mayweather? He, he has a shot at Mayweather due to the fact that they got a clip. The gotcha hat clip that that right there is going to market the whole fight. Oh, yes, definitely. I don't think he fights him now. If he if he ever loses, like when he loses and stuff like that, I feel like that's like the fight he will he'll come out come back from. Did you know that Jake was supposed to be banned from ringside that night? Yeah. No, I know. Yeah, yeah. I saw I'm like, dude, you're just killing your marketing from banning someone who is pushing the fight. He he actually sold the fight for them because Logan and Floyd, they did yeah. a horrible job. Like the first time that was announced, I'm like where's the buzz and all this? Like no one's promoting it. No one's pushing it. But the second time. And of course, Jake pushing the fight. It got a lot more buzz after that. Do you think they're all three in on it? Or do you think Floyd Mayweather was actually that pissed? I think he's that pissed. I don't really <laughs> go, I, I don't think Floyd would ever work with the pause after that, that after that bullshit. I no, wouldn't at least. I wouldn't at least. No, nah, he's not going to work with them, but he's going to make sure that like he destroys them. Oh yeah, definitely. And I don't know, bro. Like, I think, yeah, Mayweather could, um, May- Mayweather could have, couldn't have done all that. I think he really wants to not, let Jen knock the fuck out of him. With, with that being said, if you did a marketing, marketing stunt today, so, similar to Jake Paul and stuff like that to get your name out there, what would you do? Ooh, um, shit. I honestly don't know what I'd do, honestly. There's not really much going on right now. Um, I would just like straight up tell everybody that y'all ain't good. I'm the better rapper here in Victoria. And it just get everyone's attention. Cause I think there's somebody in Corpus that uh, made a list of the best Corpus Christi rappers of all time over there. Mm-hmm. And someone by the name of Drippy Drew, um, he get he, I think he got aggravated and inserted his picture on another person's like picture. Like he put his picture on one of the, on the marks. Um, and he's like, that's better. I'm like, wow, why did I think of that? Like, he took the whole list and put his picture right there. That, like, no, so when it gets shared, like, he's he's yeah. on there? Yeah, no, yeah. that's a that's a badass idea. Yeah, and that's honestly low-key what I would do, but not on a list. Like, like just make a... Dude, you should get Brother Gary Moses to be in your rap video. Who again? Brother Gary Moses. Well, dang, why didn't I think, like, why hasn't no one thought about that yet? That would go viral, bro, like. I have to, that would actually would be a good idea to do, actually. Wow, you gave me good ideas doing that shit. Or like get fucking uh I think in my song Powerless, um, when it came out during the whole power outage in Texas, mm-hmm. I took shots at both um uh Ted Cruz and um who else? Well, what was another it was another governor I took but shots you got, at. You gotta make short clips, you can't like make full video like full videos, you gotta make those short clips and put them on TikTok. Yeah, that's I think that's what I was gonna do when I made a uh, powerless because powerless was supposed to was during the whole power outage when, mm-hmm. when we were all secluded and there was no power, no no heat either. We were freezing our asses off and shit. So I took one shot at Ted Cruz for leaving during that whole fucking crisis, leaving us alone to like defend for ourselves. You know what you should actually do? What? You're in Victoria right now, right? Right now I'm Port Lockdown right now. Okay, well Victoria has those two mediums that they just built. Yeah, absolute trash. I hate those mediums. Absolute trash. If you like, if you're watching this and you're from Victoria and you made it this far, comment below. Like those two mediums are absolute trash. And there's actually two Facebook pages on them. 
Yeah, I saw that. So I'm like, the, I'm like the, what the hell? dude, those pages are getting a lot of fucking attention. I know, dude. Like those medians, what was the point of that? Like, there was no point of that. I mean, I get like maybe later and like down the state, like down the Navarro, but not like all the way in Navarro. All the going towards uh or, or you can call out Brother Gary Moses in a rap battle. <laughs> Oh, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. I will, do, I will do that. I will call him out for a rap battle. CJ calls out Brother Gary Moses. That's what I'm going to title the podcast. Shit. Then I'll really grab some attention there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I low-key would do that, too, honestly. I would low-key would do that. Just to do it in front of, like, the... Where would, where would it be at? Like, where would you put that battle at? A church? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe, right? Well, no. That would be even more controversial. Exactly. Yeah, put that shit in the church. Yeah. Inside the church. No, I don't know where, where you would do it at, but yeah, I know that like little marketing stunts like that, like grab attention. Oh, of course. That's kind of why, um, speaking of controversial, I don't like, I really want to bring this up because like, I think it, that whole list situation here that happened here a long time ago, I low key started that people want to say that AK started it or fame. No, it was actually me. I started it. I want to bring that out right now before anyone sorry, say that they started. No, it was low-key that I did it. Tell me about this list because I don't think I know anything about it. Okay. Um, I was bored in my room, chilling. And I'm like, I was I was doing something. And I made a, a live feed on Facebook. And I go, if you had to make a list of the uh, a list of the best rappers here in the 361 area, who would you pick? And I just made some bullshit ass fucking list of grabbing certain names from this and this and there. And I think my buddy Patrick from, I think Arlington made a sh- post about that. And that's when it spread it from like here, here, people making their own list and this and that. I'm like, wow, I low key started something. Dude, and I made, I, I, I made a post on Facebook. I made a post saying, did I cause something to happen? And you then started I a like, trend. You started a trend. Much, yeah. That's when everyone and their mamas made a fucking list on who's the best rapper here in, in 361 area. Do you have and, a list? Um, currently, no, because a lot of rappers change over. The, like it was a great deal of time after that happened, and I think now I don't think there is necessary for a list. But if I had to make one, not counting myself, um, Michael White obviously is up there. Um, the homie Rob Zilla is up there too. He's from Corpus. Uh, Molly from I think she's from I think San Antonio corporate I can't exactly where because I can't I can't say she was San Antonio because that's not really the point she's on there yeah um AK like it was like Dude, AK is fucking good I'm not gonna yeah, lie I've, yes. I've, I've heard, I was I've heard him rap he shouted out the viral watch when I ever time I'd go to Club Adori yeah, uh, not, yeah. a, not Adori um fucking uh Ricardo's what, Ricardo's yeah, every time I went to Ricardo's, he'd shout out Viral Watch. But at the time, like Viral Watch was so big and like there was so much controversy, I was scared for even when to mention my name and Viral Watch together. Yeah. Like at one time, there was people looking for me. Oh no shit. <laughs> yeah, like. But the crazy thing is, no one ever knew I ran it. Like, yeah. Yeah, I always kept my name like on the down. You're, 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 you're like the the shadow. It was so big. Dude, it was so big. It was like like it was like six nine big. And then like yeah. if anyone anyone could affiliate with me with it, like I probably would. They probably would have came to my house or like. Yeah. It would have been just too massive. And at the time I was running marketing agency and stuff like that. And it, yeah. like, I didn't want my customers to like get mixed in with all that mixed in with all the shit and lose, like go have to L- lose business. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I get that. That's kind of why when, um, right now I, I work at a, a mechanic shop, I plan to like run that shop eventually. That's kind of why I worry about running hip hop mixed in with that. Cause then I'm gonna have, say if I beef with, if I beef with rapper number one and he comes to my shop trying to talk shit and, you know, trying to start, I'm gonna lose customers after after that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, he, he like they're gonna think, oh, he affiliates with with these people. He affiliates with drug dealers. Like you know, like I just don't want that. I try to separate the two. No, that, that makes sense. That's make it makes perfect sen- sense. And you have to kind of do that in the beginning. But like as you get bigger, you yeah. start making money. Then you Got can start. To- yeah, you can yeah. start. Well, I mean, that's it for the podcast. I mean, do you have anything else? um shout out to you hey man for bringing me on here bro i really appreciate you bringing me on here yeah no that's um, dope looking really, to see good i really got nothing else to say um just that if people from poor log victoria watching this just know that i'm better than y'all 